Hey everybody, Train Man David here uh, out on the Chillicothe subdivision at Milepost 25 here in Lamont. Um, just wanted to pop in and uh, give you guys an update. Uh, just letting you know, um, you're going to see some good stuff coming up. Uh, hopefully you'll like it. You've already seen a few of them. The Chillicothe has been going crazy lately. Probably because it's uh, the holiday season. Lots of packages coming for people celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah or what are religion you, you, you follow? I know a couple of people that celebrate Kwanzaa, um, stuff like that. So uh, probably a lot of stuff coming uh, your way. So I was uh, I went out on the chilled coffee last Saturday morning. I couldn't sleep, so I got out there like just as dawn was breaking. Didn't see anything for a couple hours, and then the floodgates opened. There was like I got like 14 trains in about a three and a half hour period. I mean, it was nuts, and that's kind of how it's been lately. Um, kind of all or none. Today I've been out here for a couple hours, didn't see anything for quite a while, but now I've seen two or three in the last uh, uh, half an hour. A westbound manifest just went by with the old green Burlington Northern engine. They did have BNSF on the side, but it was the old green heritage unit. So that's gonna be cool. I can't wait to put that one up for you guys a little bit later. Um, I'm gonna go home and edit and probably put that up tomorrow because I'm really uh, jazzed about that one. Um, other than that, it's uh, holiday season, like, like everybody else. I'm bu busy. My wife's decked out the house like she does every year. Makes it great. We can't wait for the holidays, having family over, all that stuff. Um, so it's been cool. Uh, I had last month. I went over to Indiana quite a bit. Um, every, I was out there probably throughout the four weekends and uh, caught quite a few things. Next, uh, starting next year, I'm going to try and venture out a little bit further. Um, probably when it, when it starts warming up. I don't much like going out there when it's middle of winter, uh, only because when you get in the middle of nowhere, not the place if I have a problem with my car, do I want to be broken down? So where there's, you know, when it's fro frozen tundra. So not really my idea of fun. So I'm um, gonna hold, hold on one second. I know if you could, guys could hear that, there was a guy talking. I thought he was calling me. He's actually talking to his dogs. Sorry about that. Um, but, uh, but anywho, but that's the gig. Um, there is one video that's coming up, actually two that I, I want to mention. One, I think I already brought up to you guys before. Uh, I have a nighttime video. I've been, if you've noticed, I've been putting some more up, uh, just trying to get it where he gets the spotlight on a train or something. Um, one's coming up. I'm going to probably put that up with another video at the same time because the quality, I, even I got to admit, is kind of, eh. um, but it's a Kansas City Southern lead engine with a Canadian Pacific helper unit. And uh, you know, you, we don't see that as much anymore where it's that, I mean, I know they merge, but we don't see just those two separate units. I was kind of jazzed to catch that uh, when I was near Chesterton, Indiana a couple of weeks ago. Unfortunately, I didn't get the greatest shot of it, but I, I don't like just throwing the videos out uh, unless they're just God awful. And I mean, this one wasn't awesome, but it's not the worst I've ever made either. The other one, this one I've held off for about a year, and I, this is the one I brought up. I have one of a manifest train uh, in northern Indiana going through the woods. It's a beautiful opening shot, uh, or I think it's nice, of, uh, of this manifest, uh, Burlington Northern. And unfortunately, as, you're, as I'm backing up, you see a deer laying in the middle of the tracks, and it's dead. It, it, got, it probably got hit in the middle of the night or something. And the train does not strike it a second time. It just glides right over the top of it. It's kind of no different than kind of seeing a, a deer on the side of the road when driving, but seeing a train going over the top of it could be a little distressing. If I decide to put it up, I will warn you guys. Um, I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm a ghoul or heartless or that is the last thing I am. Trust me, I've, I've really kind of been pay, painstakingly de debating about how I put this up because I think deer are beautiful animals. And I, I hate to see them hurt uh, like that or dead, you know, dead like that. Um, so it's a, it's kind of a heartbreaker to me too. So, you know, if I edit it where you didn't see it, then it'll kind of really ruin the opening part of the video. So that, that's kind of where I'm, I'm, I'm at on that one. So anywho, that's where we are. Um, like I said, dude, Sorry about that. That's cool. That caught me. See, there's one thing about my videos. You see that bridge right there, the State Street Bridge? When I'm up here on this perch, 
you cannot hear the trains coming from beyond there until they're on top of you. That's why sometimes if you see me videotaping, you'll see them just kind of pick up all at once and the train's there, because you hear that noise as it's coming. Um, when you're all the way out there, I see if I can turn this right there. Yeah, you see where, where it's going all the way out there? You get a really good view of it all the way out there. So you get a good minute or two uh, of warning that it's on its way. So sorry about that, guys. Um, that kind of surprised me. Um, but anyhow, it's kind of turning a much longer video than I meant to, but hope you have a good holiday. And in 2024, I'm going to be venturing out further, like I said earlier. And um, please stick around and uh, enjoy the ride and uh, enjoy the trains with me. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please do. I, I'd love to have you on and uh, it'll be great. And until then, I'm Trainman David and talk to you guys later. Bye.